go, go, Power Rangers! Da, 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 da. Yeah. For the Super Nintendo, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, this game was rushed out to the market soon after the show debuted on Fox Kids. And, you know, Saban put out this great cartoon that was basically a redone, redubbed version of Super Sentai, a classic Japanese show that still airs to this day. And this game takes place in the first season of the show. You can tell by the bosses, the villains. Rita Repulsa is on the rampage and she's sending her monsters into various locations. And it's up to you to choose from one of the five Power Rangers and go in and embark on a journey to stop Rita and her henchmen. You'll be fighting a lot of putties and, well, a lot of putties and really nothing much else. But, you know, then again, that's all they really did fight in the show besides, you know, the, the main villain at the end. So, you know, it's pretty accurate to this show. But let's talk about the gameplay. Gameplay is pretty bland in this. You know, it's fun for a while, but it really does get tiresome. It's not like Turtles in Time and a lot of other great beat-em-ups, um, you know, from the same era on Super Nintendo. You know, you've got, um, you'll be punching, you'll be jump-kicking, and uh, you also have a special move that's limited, and you can use your weapon. Now, I noticed, you know, when it, you've got all five Rangers, you might be asking, where's the Green Ranger? Well, because this game was rushed out so fast, you know, the, the uh, Green Ranger didn't make it into the game, which is very disappointing because that's my favorite Ranger. Tommy is my favorite Ranger of all time. And it would have been awesome to be able to play through that Green Ranger saga uh, in this game. But, you know, uh, be that as it may, we can't do that. And it would have been really awesome to see the Dragon Zord or even be able to hear the flute tune being played in 16-bit glory. But that's going to be something for another day. I think maybe that might be featured in, in, in uh, a few of the other Power Ranger games. Maybe the, the fighting game, the fighting edition game uh, on Sega Genesis. But, you know, I, I don't really know. So, you've got, you see that you've got the five Rangers here. You've got the red, the blue, the yellow, the pink, and the black. And, you know, you've got... All your weapons here, you know, Red Ranger with the sword, Black Ranger with the axe, Yellow Ranger with the uh, bow and arrow. And the bow and arrow is very weak and it seems kind of ineffectual. You can do this attack where you hold the attack button and up, uh, but this seems very, you know, it's a very weak attack. But you'll be punching and, you know, you're just basically, you punch, 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 you punch the putties, you wait for them to get back up, you punch them again, sometimes they fall off screen. And there's, there's not even like a throw or anything, I just feel like there's not a lot of variety. At least in Turtles in Time, you know, you might have just had one attack button, but there were a lot other things you could do. Like there was a dash attack, you could throw the foot soldiers at the screen, you could also do the side to side. Um, you know, uh, bashing them into the floor, uh, you know, here you can't do that. So, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with this game as far as it being flawed, as far as the controls go. I mean, everything works, there's good hit detection, but it just feels very samey. You're just going through the, you know, the motions of just, you know, attacking, you'll, you know, do some platforming here and there. And, you know, there's some interesting things with the level design, like you have a water level, and you'll do you'll do some platforming on these scaffolds when you're above a building so you know it, the locations look okay there's nothing really breathtaking there's nothing that ever made me you know make my jaw drop and be like oh wow you know this is a great looking game never really and the rangers i mean they look good but they're really just color swaps of one another in fact the pink ranger one of the most notable things about her appearance is her skirt she doesn't even have that and every ranger has the same build the red ranger has the same build as the yellow ranger and the yellow ranger is a female so it's kind of 
you know, a, a little bit silly that they did this. I mean, you know, I know you're going to say, okay, well, Brad, it's only the Super Nintendo. Well, no, actually, if this was the NES, I could see that. But this is the fucking Super Nintendo. There's no excuse for this level of laziness. But like I said, it's not really a bad game. The bosses are challenging. The final battle is pretty cool with the uh, when you get to actually step into the Megazord. The attacks are still limited. And you're just kind of really just mashing the button for the most part. But, you know, it, it's a little bit of nice variety and a nice way to end the game. But honestly, like I said, it gets monotonous. You're just really bashing that attack button the whole time. Um, just waiting for the level to end. You just keep moving to the right, sometimes up, but mostly to the right. And they really rushed the game out. I felt like the game could have been longer. Uh, they could have had the Green Ranger in there had they waited a few months to release the game so they could add more content to it. But it, it's a pretty, you know, average game, which is not bad by any means. But I just think that it could have been a lot better. Um, the movie game is definitely considered widely to be the superior title for when it comes to Power Rangers on the Super Nintendo. So, I would say they'll probably pick that game up instead, but, you know, if you really just want to experience this game, it really can't hurt. Um, it's not that expensive online, and, you know, if you want to play this game as a ROM, it's free. So, I I'd say it's worth going through, but, you know, if you're not really super enthusiastic about playing it, I wouldn't say to go out of your way. If you're like me... And, you know, you're a big fan of classic Power Rangers, you know, especially the first season. Then this is definitely a game that you're probably going to at least want to play through once just to say that you did. So, guys, uh, there you go. Hope you guys all enjoyed the review. Please subscribe. Click the bell so you get notifications for when I put out a new video. Watch all my other videos. And until next time.